Brian, I know you are currently managing a couple thousand servers in the cloud. So what is the deal with Intel versus AMD versus these new ARM servers I've been hearing about. How do you pick which one to use? There's a lot of options as far as server CPUs. So we end up running mostly on Intel Gold and AMD Epic. What is Intel Gold? So Intel Xeon Gold is a line of their newer Xeon CPUs out from Intel. They're really nice and really fast and really expensive. And what about these AMD Epics? Similar, they're sort of comparable. I think price performance ratio is a little bit better on the AMD side, but they're both really fantastic. So why do I hear so much about, you know, AMD beating Intel? What, what's going on there? So AMD is getting a lot of market share and they're doing really well. I think the price performance ratio they're hitting is really good. They're able to iterate nicely and Intel is struggling a bit. They're in a tough time right now. Yeah, I was reading in The Verge that Broadcom actually rejected the latest batch of chips from Intel. Did you <laughs> see this? Yeah, they're in a tough spot. And I think what they're trying to do with their contract manufacturer to compete with TSMC is not doing so well. Intel's not going to go away anytime soon, but they sort of lost their spot as a kind of the market leader and driving where things are going. The AMD has sort of taken over that a bit. Oof. <laughs> exactly. So what about ARM? I mean, you hear people talk a lot about ARM on the server, but I'm not sure I've seen much of it. Right. So price performance ratio on ARM is typically really, really nice. And for somebody like Amazon, who's running thousands and thousands and thousands of servers, getting the same performance per watt is huge. And that's what's pushing them to do really cool things like the Graviton line from Amazon, really nice performance performance per watt. So when you say performance per watt, I think, am I right that what's implied there is that it's actually a little bit slower than the Intel and the AMD machines. Yeah. That uses much less power. Is exactly. That right? Yes. So if you have a database server, you know, the amount of work that one core can do, it's probably going to be lower on ARM, especially than these Intel, you know, Xeon Gold or AMD Epic CPUs. But, you know, you can get 64 cores of ARM. And if you have something that you can parallelize really well, you can hit sort of the same multi-core performance with way less power outputs, you know, way less watts per chip. So why do the Intel and the AMD get higher performance on a single core? What, what's different about their architecture? So they can be bigger, they can have a lot more transistors, and so they can do things like, you know, all this prefetching and sort of look ahead stuff where they can kind of be, no matter what sort of flow it's going to take, they can be executing stuff way ahead and they just can throw transistors at making performance way higher. And they can also dial up the speed and get, you know, upwards of four gigahertz or something where an ARM chip might be sitting at two gigahertz. So for Speedify, are you using any of these ARM servers? We are not using any ARM servers on our production fleet for Speedify stuff. Why not? Um, <laughs> so I heard they have great performance <laughs> per watt. <laughs> they do have great performance for a lot. So for us, if we're running really the same set of applications across a bunch of hosts, it's easy for us to spread that across AMD and Intel because they're all essentially the same. They're all x86, same architecture, same instruction set. That's so easy. The same, same binaries you just drop on every single exactly. computer. Exactly. But to throw ARM in the mix, we would need to then build and run the same sort of software on ARM. And it's just a little bit of a headache. It's not insurmountable, but I think it's more of a headache than it would be for, worth for us. But there are a lot of times where running one piece of that on ARM might be really handy if somebody wants to, for instance, run part of our backend on really nice ARM router. Those are sort of times so where we... So with Speedify, you can get dedicated servers. Can people choose which kind of processor they want for that? Can they say, I want ARM, I want AMD? How does that work? Right. So the dedicated server is a really nice option where people get their own server that only they or their family or team can connect to. And so it's really dedicated memory, dedicated CPU. It's dedicated IP address. Dedicated IP address. Exactly. It's their own speed server in the cloud that only they have access to. And so for those, we use the same Intel or AMD that we use on the rest of our production fleet. If somebody really has a preference, they can ask, but we don't support ARM yet. Okay. And how do you pick between Intel or AMD? It really varies by location and data center. So in a lot of locations, we'll have maybe two or three data centers in a big city. So sometimes one of those is Intel and one of those is AMD. Some providers just have a ton of options across. And so we'll just kind of take our pick and go with the best price performance ratio that we find there. If you want to see more technical discussions like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you.